So it's finally done. Hey guys, Hannon here. Uh, before I head to work, I figured I'd just show you uh, what I've finally completed. Settlers of Catan. So, it's all 3D printed. Um, <laughs> this is what the pieces look before they're primed or painted. Um, also, I have to go in and clean up all these little wisps with these. And then I hit it with the heat gun and just kind of soften it up and smooth it out. And then I spray paint them with the primer and a stencil. And then, once it's all printed and said and done, this is what, for example, that forest would look like. So, it takes a long time. This is a started out as a labor of love and eventually just became a labor of labor. Anyway, so I'll show you all the pieces up close. You have your, of course, your forest. This one has a little ziggurat, a little Aztec ziggurat in the middle, and some mountains. Um, that's where you get your lumber resource. You have your mountain where you get your ore, highlighted in white. Highlighted in blue, you have your pastures where you get your, your sheep resource. You have your, uh, your grain field. Actually, I'll show you this with the little hay bales. Grain field where you get your grain resource. And let me see. Oh. And you have your strip mine, which somehow the bushes are still alive. Mother Nature is strong. And your desert. There are docks as well, where the pieces you can oops, you can switch them out. So I'll actually switch that with a sheep. And you have uh, all of the water surrounding. Again, it's all magnetic. So all the pieces they come apart, they click together. Nice and easy, and that way the whole thing always stays together. Oops. <laughs> so it won't shift on you while you play. Um, now I'll show you the nations. Uh, you have your Middle Eastern nation. It looks like Solo, my cat slapped him while I was upstairs. So that's the Middle Eastern nation. Here is the Roman or Greek nation. Here is the Medieval nation, and I'll actually show you up close. After they're cleaned up, they actually look pretty cool. So that's what it looks like up close. I'll show you one of the little towns as well. Up close, there you go, a little medieval town. Here's the Aztec nation and the Asian nation and a bonus nation. So this is what it looks like fresh off the printer. <laughs> and then I go in with my snips and snip all that stuff away and then I hit it with the heat gun. And then they will look like this, and this, um, yeah, here's my cards, I'm excited to play, I'm also excited to know what you guys think, um, <laughs> yeah, let me know your thoughts, uh, this is a pretty cool project, it's a big project, it took me so many hours and so much paint, if you want to see more actually, I am a big fat geek and I love to play Dungeons and Dragons, Here's a little monster that I uh, printed and threw out some players. Um, here's another big guy. This guy you can have like six people on his back shooting arrows down. And here is a good old gelatinous cube. It almost killed uh, Casey's character and some others. Um, yeah, I have a lot more D&D stuff printed and painted than I have of Catan. If you want to see it, let me know. In and out.